Okay, this this week we're talking about the sword of the week, and um, today we're going um, Japanese or or a Jap sword. This this is a uh, um, uh, officer's army sword, and this is a parade sword, and it's a quarter Q Gunto sword. It has um, it's a company grade type nineteen sword, and we're just going to come in and talk about the condition of this thing. So this is the sword of of this week. We've also got a uh, Japanese uh, katana, which is uh, um, over here that will be listing in the future, which is the um, uh, uh, NCO, non-commissioned officer's sword. Um, we'll talk about that at a later date. Yeah, so this one this one is the sword of this week. Um, we're just going to come in and show the condition of it, and I'll explain a little bit more about it. So the, the hilt and the grip is um, a black bone. And there is a little bit of damage just in there. You can just see a little bit in there, right in that corner there. It's all wire woven. The nice, the wire is all nice and tight. Tight. It's got a five-petal cherry blossom, which indicates its army. It's all brass. It's to a low-ranking officer, which is under a general. So it's it's not the best that you're going to get, but it's to a, you know, say a lieutenant or or something like that. Um, that sort of rank or you know sub lieutenant yeah so this this is the condition of the sword so we're just going to go through there spin it around as you can see it it's in pretty good condition there's a little bit of play what i think yeah a little bit of play just in the guard around there a little bit of play but it's not too bad you can see the the hammer is visible on uh most of the blade you can just see it there the hammond the hammond is visible all right to about there and then you'll see the draw marks coming in and out of the scabbard the draw marks is probably caused from there is a slight bent bend in the scabbard which uh, makes it a bit tight when i put it into the scabbard but it is the correct scabbard for it and you can see the runner marks that it has head up to about here so the the hit on the on the scabbard is about there this is a steel scabbard um, there's a little bit of pitting on it but overall it's um, not too bad and it's got the harmon going right down here to about the same point before it gets into the draw marks. Yeah, so this is the sword of the week. It's overall, it's not in too bad a condition. There's no bends or twists that I can see in it. And um, it's a reasonably nice sword and, and it's a Japanese period World War II sword. Thank you.